I'm doing this video to show you how to use Excel. This video is intended to teach a beginner, someone who's never used Excel at all. I'm using uh, Microsoft Office 07. Excel is organized in columns and rows. And this, the intersection of the column and the row is called a cell. This is cell A1. <coughs> I'm going to build a uh, estimating template or an estimating worksheet for a small contractor or handyman. Uh, sheet number two down here has some uh, cheat things for me um, and I'll be using those throughout the uh, video. First let's give the job or let's give the uh, sheet a name and we'll put that in, uh, in the column A. Now we're going to uh, start a list of materials. And now is when I'm going to start cheating. I'm going to take this top row. I'm going to press copy. I'm going to go back to sheet one and press paste. Now I've got materials, price, quantity, total task or job name, the number of hours, my hourly rate, and a total. These are the columns I'm going to be working with. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make this column larger so that we have more room to work with. Come over here to format, press column width, and I'm going to make this, I'm going to type in 40 on the keyboard and press OK task. I also like a large size. So I'm going to press format again. I'm going to press column width, type in 40. And instead of the uh, screen, I'm going to press enter on the keyboard. There's always multiple ways of doing things with, Microsoft, or with Excel, it seems like. Uh, the quantity is usually going to be one, two, three. So that can be a small number, a small uh, column price and totals are going to be a little larger. So I'm going to show you how to do multiple columns at one time. Um, highlight column B. It can be, you can highlight it here or here. It doesn't matter. Just in that column. I press control on my keyboard, my total column, and my column over here. And now I'm going to go to back to format. Column width. I'm going to go 14. Now I'm going to put a list of materials in here for us to work with. Those are called dancing ants. Press escape and they'll go away. I'm going to highlight, uh, this is a ba uh, basically a deck job. I'm going to highlight uh, this area. It's a list of materials with price and quantity. I'm going to press copy. Go back to sheet one and press paste. Now I've got some things I can work with. In order to get my total in the totals column, I'm going to use simple math. On your keyboard, press equals B3. I just highlight it. I just hit it with I right click with my mouse. And then on my keyboard, press times. And then with my mouse, come over here and right click C3 and press enter. And I've got the uh, I've got 15.4 times 2 is 30.8. Now we're going to be working in dollars and cents, so I'm going to make this column. And then I'm going to press control and I'm going to make this same column all dollar signs. Okay? Now I want to, uh, I'm going to take these numbers and instead of repeating that formula over and over, I'm going to use a process called fill. Come down here until there's a, uh, an X or a cross in the corner. Press down with your mouse and pull down. Now the formulas are all transferred. This formula was B3 times C3. Down here it's B4 times C4. Down here it's B10. 
Now I'm going to uh, subtotal that column. Come over to that column and and hit it with my cursor or hit it with a right click. Now I'm going to use something called auto sum. Now Excel already figured out what numbers I want to uh, total, and I just press enter, and I've got the amount there. I'm going to go to my cheat sheet. and I'm going to do some copying. should call this subtotaled for materials. Uh, I'd like to figure in a percentage um, for my contingency and we're going to use 10%. Now that's coming up as a dollar. We want that to be a percentage. So I'm going to go back to that. Actually I want all three of these be a percentage. Now look what it did. It made that a thousand percent. So I'll go back, change that to ten percent. Now I'm going to make it, my contingency is going to be a ten percent of the subtotal. So I'm going to go to the cell D26, highlight it with my right click or highlight it with my uh, cursor equals materials subtotal times contingency. Press enter. Sales tax around here at 7%. So now, I'm, now I want to get both of these added together and then times sales tax. I am going to use auto sum and now it's only it doesn't really know what I want to do so I highlight these two with my right click I just I'll go back and do that again you can always use the back button to do things okay just so that I don't move too fast here for you auto sum right click and pull down these two and that my formula is always up here when there's brackets around a formula that treats it as one number and then times seven percent now my markup I'm gonna take all three of these and mark them up again I'm gonna use auto sum all three of these come up to my formula times markup which I don't have yet I'll put a markup in there of 20 percent and for my total materials I will auto sum the whole thing enter going to cheat again and we're going to do uh, we're going to enter some job names or some tasks copy paste I always add estimating and billing at the very top of my sheet I have on my template for these estimating is always an hour and billing is a half an hour I adjust it for the job. If the job takes me longer to estimate than that, then I add, it up. I add those hours. I'm going to make our rate at $50 an hour. And I'm going to make that $50, uh, $50 instead of just $50. I'm going to fill. Now I'm going to get my totals column and we're going to press equal $50 times the number of hours. Enter. And we're going to 
fill that down. We're going to do a, a labor subtotal. Now I'm just going to cheat and go over and pull this whole thing over. Copy. Paste. We're going to auto sum all of our labor costs. Press enter. We're going to do just like contingency. Just like we did for uh, materials over here. Equals. Now I better, I don't have anything to, I haven't, uh, I haven't made these columns a percentage yet. I want these three columns to be a percentage. And now I'm going to say 10% contingency, 7% sales tax, and 10% uh, markup. Should probably call that labor markup. Go back to our labor subtotal. Our, we're going to take that times our contingency equals labor subtotal times 10%. Enter. Sales tax, we're going to auto sum these two numbers. We're going to come up here to our formula bar, press times, sales tax, enter. Auto sum again. Back to my formula bar, times, markup, enter. And now I'm going to total my labor. Auto sum these three numbers, these four numbers. Enter. That's my total labor for the job. My materials, I'm going to move, or I'm going to copy this number. I'm going to copy this number over here. So I'm going to press equals. That cell. Enter. And now I'm going to do an auto sum. I like to keep everything visible on one sheet. Uh, basically, that's what I've got here. You can always think of uh, Excel as just a notepad, a pad and paper with a calculator built in. It helps you to make changes and to move things around quickly and easily or to change percentages quickly and easily. I'm going to check to see how much time I have left on this. Now I'm going to teach you how to dress it up a little bit. Uh, let's take Jones. I'm going to highlight these top two rows. And I'm going. this will increase the font. I like the Jones job to be even larger. Now you see I'm starting to lose this material down here. So I'm going to take a couple of rows out. Delete rows. Now it brings everything back into view. <coughs> I like to have uh, the cells where there's a information or where there's a formula in them. I usually like to put some type of a color in there to let me know that that's uh, has formulas and then I shouldn't be messing around with those. There is a way to lock the cells. I'm gonna, not going to deal with that on this video. Now our total, let's make uh, let's make everything our font 11. And then materials, total materials, let's make that slightly larger. And I'm going to make the total job 10%. 